You made an offer on your dream home and now you wait. Hey South Florida, it's your realtor Julio Gonzalez. In this installment of my Getting Ready to Buy a Home series, we'll talk about making an offer on your dream home. Once you found the right neighborhood and perfect home, it's important to make the right offer. Your realtor will help you determine how the price of your dream home compares to other homes in the neighborhood, but it's ultimately your decision on the offer amount. Do I offer the list price? Do I offer 10,000 or 50,000 or 100,000 below list? How do you determine the right price? Your offering price is part science, part magic, but often mostly emotion. Besides what other homes are selling for, your realtor can tell you if those other homes sold for less than the asking price and by how much, or if the other homes are selling above asking price. This information will inform you of the trends in that neighborhood. Your realtor can also find out if there are other offers under consideration or that may be pending. It's important to know what the offer trend is and if you'll be competing against other offers. Then comes the emotion. Does this home have the perfect kitchen to bake in? Did you fall in love with the pool or backyard and can't wait to entertain? Imagine yourself losing the home on a difference of $1,000. Your offer may need to take into account this desire to purchase this home at all costs, especially if there are other offers at play. One more thing, last week we spoke about pre-approval. Besides the offer amount, the seller when faced with multiple offers and maybe even in a single offer will consider if you've been pre-approved. Take a look at last week's video. If you've requested any repairs or have any contingencies, and they may also be attached to the home and only want it to go to the right family. I've seen offers where the buyers wrote a letter to the sellers explaining how this home would be ideal to raise their children, talking about sharing great meals cooked in the beautiful kitchen and other heart-tugging stories to help persuade sellers towards their offer. In my own case, when buying the home we live in today, the seller took our lower offer because he wanted us living in this home. He liked us better and opted for a lower price. This is all a very emotional process, so it's important to put together a compelling offer that brings all aspects together. Now, your offer may not be accepted quickly, so it's important to be patient. There will often be a negotiation if there's not agreement on price, if repairs are needed, inspection periods, etc. If there are multiple offers, the seller will likely wait until all offers are received and pick one or two with whom to negotiate. This is an important time to be in lockstep with your realtor. You should be prepared to quickly respond to counter offers. Typically, lenders won't let you skip the appraisal, but many cash buyers have waived it in the past. What if there's a crack in the foundation or a septic tank that needs replacing? A complete set of inspections should point these things out so you can determine whether or not you want to proceed with the purchase. Imagine paying $500,000 for a home and then needing $100,000 to fix a foundation issue you didn't know existed. During the crazy COVID home buying days, buyers were waiving inspections and appraisals just to get the home. Many are now regretting that decision. I've seen some very difficult negotiations and some that just fly through. Make sure you communicate clearly with your realtor and vice versa. Have your pre-approval in place and be prepared to negotiate to give your offer the best chance of being accepted. Next time, we're going to talk about completing the financing process so you can move into that perfect home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my social media and blog by clicking the link in my bio. Thanks and enjoy the sunshine.